This is video podcast 7, Cardiac Imaging, Differential Diagnoses. I'm William Herring from Albert Einstein Medical Center in Philadelphia for Learning Radiology. These differentials are not intended to be all-inclusive. They're designed as an aid to remembering a few of the most important causes for each of the findings shown. The way the presentation works is that first the case is shown as an unknown. You identify the differential that the case exemplifies. Make frequent use of the pause control on your computer or MP3 player. The next slide will show the title of the differential in this case cyanosis with decreased vascularity. Again, use the pause control. The next slide reveals the differential diagnosis itself, and then the last slide reveals the diagnosis of the original case. This podcast is designed to be used as either an audio-only or a video-only podcast or both. So let's get started. This is the first differential, pause the player. The differential is for cyanosis with decreased vascularity. There are five causes. Pause the player. The five causes of cyanosis with decreased vascularity are tetralogy of fellow, truncus arteriosus type 4, tricuspid atresia and transposition of the great vessels, and Epstein's anomaly. This is the next differential. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is for cyanosis with increased vascularity. There are five causes. Pause the player. The five causes of cyanosis with increased vascularity are truncus arteriosus types one, two, and three, total anomalous pulmonary venous return, tricuspid atresia and transposition of the great vessels, which occurs on the list for both increased vascularity and decreased vascularity with cyanosis and single ventricle. This is the next differential. Pause the player. The differential is cardiomegaly with normal vascularity in newborns. There are five major causes. Pause the player. The five major causes of cardiomegaly with normal vascularity in newborns include viral myocarditis, endocardial fibroelastosis, aberrant left coronary artery, cystic medial necrosis, and infant of a diabetic mother. This is the next differential. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is increased flow vascularity. There are six major causes. Pause the player. The six major causes of increased flow vascularity are atrial septal defect, ventricular septal defect, patent ductus arteriosus, total anomalous pulmonary venous return, AV communis, endocardial cushion defects, and high output states. This is the next differential. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is for left to right shunts. There are six major causes. Pause the player. The six major causes of left to right shunts include atrial septal defect, ventricular septal defect, patent ductus arteriosus, anomalous pulmonary venous return, AV communis, and anomalous origin of the left coronary artery from the pulmonary artery. This is the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is for an enlarged left atrium. There are six major causes. Pause the player. 
The six major causes of an enlarged left atrium include congestive heart failure, mitral stenosis, mitral regurgitation, prolapsed mitral valve, papillary muscle dysfunction, and left atrial myxoma. This is the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is for an enlarged main pulmonary artery. There are four major causes. Pause the player. The four major causes of an enlarged main pulmonary artery are a left to right shunt, pulmonary arterial hypertension, pulmonic stenosis, and idiopathic dilatation of the pulmonary artery. This is the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is of pulmonary venous hypertension. There are eight major causes. Pause the player. The eight major causes of pulmonary venous hypertension are mitral stenosis, acquired or congenital, congestive heart failure, left atrial myxoma, core triatriatum, tonal anomalous pulmonary venous return from below the diaphragm, hypoplastic left heart syndrome, aortic stenosis, and coarctation of the aorta. This is the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. The differential diagnosis is for causes of congestive heart failure in the newborn. There are six major causes. Pause the player. The six major causes of congestive heart failure in the newborn include infantile coarctation of the aorta, congenital aortic stenosis, hypoplastic left heart syndrome, congenital mitral stenosis, core triatriatum, and total anomalous pulmonary venous return from below the diaphragm. This is the next differential diagnosis. Pause the player. The differential is for a markedly enlarged cardiac silhouette. There are three major causes. Pause the player. The three major causes of a markedly enlarged cardiac silhouette include cardiomyopathy, pericardial effusion, and multiple valve disease.